Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 13 of the Leco October Challenge. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and let's get started on today's problem. Sort list. Uh, given the head of a link, let's return the list after sorting it in ascending order. Um, hmm. That's annoying, if nothing else. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Hmm. So. Yeah, I mean, and there are a couple of obvious ways you can do it, but that's a little bit uh, weird. Like, for example, you could put in the list and then just do a regular sort and then put in put back another list. Uh, that's going to be all of n log n, but it'll be all of n memory, right? Because you create, you know, uh, an element for each one. Uh, the, the other quote-unquote obvious one is some sort of um, uh, bubble sort -y thing where we, you, you bubble every element to the end or something like that uh and of course that's gonna be n squared time uh oh one memory but n squared time and n squared is gonna be a little bit slow it's gonna be 10 times 10 to the 8 or 25 times 10 to the 8 uh which is probably too slow for that um how do i do an over one memory hmm i mean this is just sorting i don't <laughs> no, that's okay i don't really need any more example um hmm I wonder if there is a real constant space one I think you know the, the constant space is always a little bit weird right because um you know you can notice that for example the node value is up to 10 to the fifth so you just you know create uh 10 to the sixth element and then we construct it and counting sort is what I'm saying uh, quote unquote linear time um, and also sometimes if you do stuff recursively uh, some people are wrong about it so um, so I'm try just trying to think whether there's a, an algorithm this is also one of those problems that are a little bit uh, obviously ad hoc uh, it doesn't really come up that much in even competitive uh, per se so yeah uh, I mean Hmm. Uh, because yeah we could do recursively with um you know merge sort or something like that right but clearly that's going to be log n space um at worst because of the 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 depth the recursion depth space uh so yeah hmm i don't know let me see let me think for a second uh, uh I think you could do something like um, I'm thinking of something that's similar to uh, similar to um, similar to like a sparse table type thing uh, where you kind of instead of doing it recursively you do a loop uh, to merge every power of two sized arrays um, and then kind of do it that way. Um, hmm. I mean, it's, it's doable, it's possible, it's just really annoying. I think that's mostly the thing. Um, and yeah. Um, so basically, the outline of how I would do it. Hmm. Let me think about it. So basically, you would do something like 4. Uh, so, okay, let's say... Eh, I was going to say n is equal to length, but I guess you have to get to the length of the list first. So let's just say uh, get length node uh, where uh, count is equal to zero while node is not none node is you go to node.next and count increment and then we turn count right so then n is you go get length of head uh, let's double check that I don't do off by one because sometimes it happens uh, so, so this should be printing four okay so that's good um, and then now, you know, you would have something like four. I, I, I like using, writing for loop in non-Python language for this reason. But basically, uh, let's just do, uh, I don't know, let's call it partition length. 
and I'm mixing different cases because this is mixing a little bit. I think usually I like underscore casing more a bit. Okay, fine. Is to go two. Uh, let's start with one. I, uh, technically, I guess two. But um, and then you do while partition length is less than n or you go to n. And then we do some sort of like partition it by that length and then kind of merge uh, merge pointers that way. Um, eh, I mean, it's doable. It's just really annoying. But okay, fine. Let's, let's do it that way. Um, and I think conceptually, you're supposed to do it in place. Oh, and of course, this, this uh, multiplies by two every time. Uh, and I think you're supposed to do it in place because if you don't do it in place, then then you know um then you would you know allocate memory as you go uh i'm gonna do it a little bit cheating by not doing it in place just because uh it makes things a lot easier uh, and then you know for those of you at home you could probably refactor it so that you can do it in place uh, so that's what i would say uh so basically we just have hmm how do we want to get this right uh hmm Let's have a thing that goes. Um, basically, what we want to do is for this length, we we merge two adjacent ones, right? So basically, for example, if the partition length is one, we merge adjacent one uh, length lists into two. Right, did I spell JSON well? I think I did, but uh, but let's just ignore that for now. Um, okay, right, and then let's just get because eh. I I would like to some do something that just returns like X pointers, but of course that's going to be too um, it's going to use too much space. Even though the um, no Pythonically is or language wise is probably makes more sense, but basically what we want to do is uh, do something like point. Point to A is you go to um, let's just say get um, hmm. get uh, like get beginning maybe something like that naming things is always hard of um, okay let's just say so current is you go to head um, is to get beginning current and then and oh no partition length and then we could do like point to b as you go to that again um and it this should if in theory move current to um yeah, yeah maybe we'll use a, a cheating global here um Someone like get beginning, uh, and non local current. So then we return current, but uh, and you could probably use this in um, using the yield uh, enumerator type thing, but uh, yeah, I'm a little bit trying to just get it right the first time, uh, and, and then we'll you know clean things up as I go because. This is probably not my strong point in solving these problems uh, for linked lists, I mean, because they're always ad hoc. It doesn't really come up anywhere else, to be frank. Um, okay, so then now we just want to advance current as you go to... Um, okay, so let's just say uh, results as you go to current. Let's just say ret return results or result. We go nano local current. And then just to... Um, while oh yeah for do 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 uh we saw oh sorry current is equal to current dot next if current is not none right so then now we should be able to get two pointers uh let's double check this for a second let's print out pointer a pointer b in theory because uh, we don't do any merging, so when, when I run, what would I expect, right? I expect, you know, a four 
you know, a node at point at four, a node point at two, and then one, and then three. So let's kind of see if that matches up. Uh, yeah. So in this case, the first iteration, we, we start at the node four, and then it starts at two, which is expected. And then the second one, which is four, and then one, which is also expected. So that's good. Uh, so, so far, so good. Um, because we don't loop around this, so we only get the first two elements and so forth, right? Uh, so yeah, so that, that is ex uh, what we expect. So now we have to do a merging step. Um, like I said, we have to do this in place, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but let's see. Hmm. Let me think about this, but is there invariant here, right? Now you can't do it that way, because I, I think if there may be a thing where you can kind of keep on pushing stuff, but but yeah, so then now let's maybe do another similar thing where um okay, last is you go to head maybe mm, that's a little bit weird, but Let's see, let me think about this for a second. Um, hmm. Uh, basically what I want to do is just keep track of, you know, the last place to kind of keep on adding pointers. Um, and like I said, we could do it in place to enforce the space, but I'm going to skip the in placing part uh, just to kind of get it right. Uh, and the idea to make it in place, I think should be straightforward after that but I, again i'm going to focus on correctness for now um so let's say last is you go to um, i think what i want is a new head i think technically uh I, I think what i actually want is um a thing that new head points to uh so that we we have a new head pointer that so that your new your actual head would be the first pointer instead of the or the second point instead of the first pointer or something like that um so yeah let's do that or what's it called uh this node of let's just say none so that we know um and then here we we do very hmm i think we have to do something here as well uh which is that we have to remove the links so that we don't keep on running into issues. Uh, next is not none. Uh, but then, hmm. I wonder if I use unique. I guess not. Um, it doesn't actually say, but. basically we want to keep track of the number of pointer a's we use so that uh but if you're just going to keep on going next um it's going to run out of length soon so that's why we have issues there um hmm. yeah i guess we just have to keep track uh a left left a is equal to uh, there is a, a weird edge case here, which is that um, which is that um, you know, this could be none, right? Uh, because it may be just too long or something like that. So eh. so we just have to keep track of that as well. Uh, let's just say these are the max lengths. And then now we do a uh, while uh, left A is greater than zero N left B is greater than zero. And this is just very standard merge sort E stuff. Um, hmm. So we have here. Uh, and it, it, there's just so many pointers. Um, last add is equal to new head. So yeah. So last add is uh, so okay. So now if left if 
Uh, let's just also make sure that. Oops. How did that What the? And pointer A is not none. And pointer B is not none. Right? Uh, just to go over all the cases. Um, if left, so if, now we have to, we can look at if left A dot value is that value. Okay. If it's greater than pointer B dot value, um, then we want to do last add dot uh, next is equal to a new list node of um, pointer A dot val. Uh, and then pointer a is you go to pointer a dot next uh, left a decrement uh, else we do the same thing but with uh, with the pointer b right on the b side this is also like standard ish I know that I made some weird modifications but in theory the standard um, merge sort type situation uh, and then now we just have to kind of double check while left a is greater than zero and pointer a is not none uh so this is just clean up uh, i usually write it this way but you know your 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 modage may vary um also i i, I missed a thing here so I, i'll fix that in a second um oops uh, left b Keep in mind that on these streams, I do sometimes take account uh, how much time I spend on it as a as a metric, because otherwise I probably could write this in a way uh, clean way, but it would take a long time. So I do kind of take some liberties there. So definitely, you know, feel inspired to you know upsolve it afterwards if you like uh, as much as you like. Ooh, my finger isn't charging, but uh, but what I forgot to do is that um, last add is equal to last add dot next, right? Actually, we could do that here. Otherwise, uh, you don't move the pointer. So that's merging one thing. So let's kind of see. Um, so I don't think, I mean, well, this this should not be right, but it should at least, um, oh yeah, I forgot to move some stuff, but uh, let's actually just put up new head, right? So in theory, after one iteration, the two and the four should merge at least, and that's all I hope for. Um, and that's not the case, unfortunately. Did I mess it up? Uh, greater than, nope. Yeah, I just messed up the signs, which is a easy thing to fix relatively. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so two, four, that's good. Uh, I don't know how these work, so may, I think this may be just weird and wrong, but that's okay. But we also didn't change the head back to the new head, so that's why. So head is equal to new head dot next, and then this should be maybe okay. Uh, or more okay, it's still not gonna be okay per se. Uh, yeah, two four and then two two, so maybe still not. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, because we don't keep on going, right? So there's only gonna be two elements. It's a little bit weird. Uh, it's just all a little bit weird in general. Um, but yeah, and also I have another mistake here, which is that I didn't keep track of stuff. So that's the that's what um kind of hard a little bit sometimes, at least for me, with linked list stuff is that. Everything is just bookkeeping, right? It's not, there's way weird times where things are hard conceptually, but um, it's just a lot of bookkeeping. And, keep, and what I mean by that is just keeping track of things and pointers and stuff like that. And it's really easy to miss on, uh, some of them. So yeah, so this remains true, which is good. Uh, it's just that we, you know, we didn't keep on going. So th what that means is that we have to add a loop here somewhere. Um, yeah. So... If pointer x is none, then we continue, right? But if only pointer b is none, then that's okay, because pointer a, we want to merge that in. I've, let's see if that's okay. To be honest, I'm not confident, but we'll see. Nope. Um, oh, I don't have a while loop. That, that's what I mean. Whoops. Uh, so while... Well, so this is actually... With, it's none, so we have a while true maybe, uh, and then we have it here. Um, still, a um, little bit sketch, we'll see. Uh, th that's, w that's what it's always going to be a little bit tricky if the length list. Uh, so the new head looks good, uh, and all the sorting looks okay. Uh, actually, looks maybe even done as long as we 
return it. But that's, you know, obviously put in more test cases. Um, Do, 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 do. Uh, oops. Uh, these are just random cases. I don't have any thoughts about them uh, except for the zero one two uh, case. Um, okay, so everything looks okay. So let's kind of submit it and hopefully fingers crossed. Um, cool. Uh, and again, this is going to be n space, technically n locks n space because I, the way I did it, uh, because it's not in place. Uh, you could do things in place uh, for sure because um, by keeping an auxiliary uh, number of variables and just like manipulating uh, which pointer goes to which, uh, which maybe we can do. Let me think about this. Yeah, because I think what, what instead of like you know, copying, for example, we just have to do, where's my new head or last add? Uh, last add is you go to this other thing and then we set the next and then you, it's just a more bookkeeping to make sure that your pointers are all in the right place while keeping also in track of the previous place and stuff like that. So definitely possible, definitely annoying as heck. Uh, try it in your free time, try it on your, um, you know, when you're up solving. But this is the general idea that I would have in terms of algorithm. Uh, so what is the complexity? I know that we kind of talked about it. We'll go over it again, uh, which is that you know, this is O of N because it just goes through every element once. Um, this, so this loop, right? This loop executes oops, uh, log N times. Why? Because it executes once uh, or the first time will be uh, partition length is equal to 1, partition length is equal to 2, then 4, 8, 16, 32, dot, dot, dot to n, and there are log n of these, right? So that's going to be log n times. Each time, this just looks at each element uh, once-ish, if you want to call it that. All of one, because, you, you know, you get the beginning you, you, um, in this way. Uh, so you look at each element once to get the, the length, and then you also look at um yeah you look at it again with um you know you look at each note a couple of times but a constant number of times right so that means that uh so each loop takes about uh, i mean o of n times right so that means that total time complexity is o of n log n and because similarly because each loop also takes o of n space uh right now the space is actually n log n uh, but I, again, some of that is just I'm a little bit lazy. I don't want to spend 20 minutes on a video, uh, more video, to kind of do it in place. But you get the idea. It's just a lot of bookkeeping. Uh, the, I think the core idea here is just using this repeated doubling to kind of get the complexity down to n log n in a very um, reasonable way. Uh, kind of just merge sort, but the other way, I suppose. Um, but yeah. Uh, again, this is a little bit of a mess. It's already at 74 lines and we didn't even do the in-place part, so I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, th let me know what you think. Let me know how you went to attack this problem. Let me know if you saw this list okay. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Ask me questions. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.